A lot of the times people think that playing with a worship band is the most complex thing. They treat it as if it's rocket science or something. But in reality, guys, it's not as hard as you might think. So this is why I'm making this video. We're going to talk about three reasons why playing with a worship band is easier than you might think. Because it actually is. A little philosophy that I learned growing up from my dad was this. When you make it easy, it's easy. When you make it hard, it's hard. Now, this is probably the most cheesiest life lesson that anybody could probably hear, including myself. However, later on in life, it appears to me like how true this is because it's all about perspective. So without further ado, let's figure out how we can make playing with the worship band easier because we can make it that way. The first reason why playing with the worship band is easier than you might think is because one, accompanying is more about listening to the band. It's less about how much you're playing. When you truly listen and not merely hear, it changes your playing approach entirely. When it comes to playing with the worship band, the accompanying musician is part of the support system, just like the bass and obviously the keyboardist as well with the chords that they're playing. However, this does not diminish the fact that the accompanying musician should have the playing technique and level as the soloist. But disclaimer, this does not mean to play like a soloist. That's not what this is about. We have to know that there is a difference. Solid and strong playing technique is still a necessity and it can never be negotiated. Otherwise, we might hear some shaky bows or even bad intonation, whatever it might be, whatever bad technique or bad playing could look like. And we know that none of those things are a good sign. When accompanying the worship band, quality will always triumph over quantity. Even if you're playing simple rhythms, your sound should still be as refined and as exquisite as it should be, especially when giving worship to God. Reason number two as to why playing with the worship band is easier than you might think. You don't have to overcomplicate it. Simple rhythmic accompaniment gets the job done. You have to remember that simplicity is key here. As the accompanying musician, you are supporting the worship band and enhancing the overall sound of the band, which could help further impact the meaning of the lyrics of the worship song. It also gives you, the accompanying musician, the opportunity to focus more on what's most important, which is giving honor and glory to God. One practical way to do this, sing with a band and congregation when you're not playing. Not only does this limit awkwardness while you're on stage, but it helps you and others draw their full attention to the one that they are worshiping. Number three, playing with a worship band should be fun and enjoyable. We all love what's easy and fun, right? While playing with the worship band can be exactly those two things. It's all about perspective, remember? Once we have our perspective and our heart in the right place and in its correct posture, especially in worship, it will show and it will be contagious. However, this can also be the case when we give off anxious or nervous energy when we're up there with a band. Another disclaimer, let's remember that this is not about impressing people. This is not about impressing anyone, but for the audience of one. So what I'm saying is to consider what your stage presence looks like when you're up there with a band. It's still important to consider it. Because the reality is the band would normally be in front or facing the congregation in some way. At least that's how it normally is done. You and the band are leading the songs, right? So you and I, as the accompanying musician, ought to remember the duty that we have and to take into account how we present ourselves because we are supposed to lead by example anyway. Some practical things that helped me were to take ownership of every single song, making each worship song my own. But I just focus on doing what I'm called to do. You know, and same for you. You're just going to focus on what you're called to do. You're just doing your thing and you're having a good time up there because you're pursuing the opportunity to serve. And if no one around you sees that, God sees that and I see that, okay? I'll be your cheerleader as well. I hope this was helpful and you could apply some of the tips that I shared in this video. And I look forward to hearing how well this works for you and for your future team rehearsals and services. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content like this so that I could serve you best. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram for more insight as to how to play with the worship band well and more helpful tips. Have a blessed day and I'll see you in the next video.